Hello, my name is Giando, and I'd like to show you my little portable Raspberry Pi powered writing device. I'm calling it the Ambition Box, or possibly the Writotron, depending on which name I decide on in the future. At first glance, it just looks like a poorly varnished cigar box with some drizzle here. On the side, I've got a nice little blood stain artistically preserved underneath some varnish, indicating the artist's internal struggle and the need to suffer for their art, and also the fact that I cut myself while I was carving it. On the top I've got a beer hop sticker. Uh, it looks a little bit like a Raspberry Pi logo, which is why I put it there. It's from some local brewery here in Portland. Um, also because it's alcohol related, and I want something alcohol related on my writing device because of that Hemingway quote, write drunk, edit sober, which is what I do pretty often. On the side I've got a battery slot, and a port on the back, which I'll go into more detail later. But when you open it up, that's when the real magic happens. Woohoo! What's this? Well, it is a full keyboard screen and touchpad. So there's a touchpad over here, right and left click, for highlighting and copying and pasting and stuff. Uh, USB port up here, and this is an SD card reader. I've got a pretty small screen, but once you see how it works, you'll see that I don't really need the whole thing. Let's turn this puppy on. My Switch comes from MouseberryCircuits.com. The guy who makes these, well, first of all, he does a pretty good job, but he's also really nice. I accidentally broke a couple switches, and I wrote to him in frustration, and he sent two more to me, free of charge, so that was pretty cool of him. Um, so, as you can see, it boots straight into LibreOffice. I actually removed everything else. I, I just got regular core stock Raspberry and just removed everything. Um, there's no programming tools, no games, no Minecrafts, nothing like that. And there we go. There's LibreOffice. There's my little uh, m mouse and touchpad, which you know still works. There we go. Go, go to the menu. I also have it configured so that I've got a black background and white text, which is both easier on the eyes, and also uh, it's it the screen lasts longer and it's not as wavy. So I've got hotkeys so that I've got full screen. So let's hit you know F3 there, and let's do some typing. Hello, this is the ambition box, or possibly. The right O Tron, depending on what I settle for in the future. And there we go. So that's what the text looks like. Um, so even though I got a small screen, I can still see a good number of words. I can even uh, change the zoom. So Alt V, Alt Z, and let's maybe change it so that I'm only zoomed in like maybe 175%. And there we go, I've got more words on the screen. Um, I'll even open up one of my uh, documents that I'm working on. This is my novel, A Tale of Two Muses, sequel to Mr. Mercury, in case anyone needs to know. And there we go, that's what my text looks like. And I've actually written all of this on this box here. If I wanted to highlight some text, I can do that. A little bit hard to see. And then I can hit Control i to add tile size, you know, fully functional word processor. But let's actually go back to the other text file here. Since I've got LibreOffice, I can save this in pretty much any file I want. This is a pretty fully functional word processor. So let's hit Control save and let's save this as, oh, I don't know, a docx, which is the format that all the cool kids use. Hello world. Yep, replace the other hello world from another take, of course. And there we go. And then when I want to turn it off, I'm going to discard my changes here, hit the switch, and then the Pi actually has a software switch, so it has a shutdown command, and then once it actually is shut down, the switch cuts off power. There we go. And then on the side, I've got my battery charge pack, which is what's powering this whole thing. When I hit it, 
it'll actually show me how much battery power I've got. So three lights, that means I've got 75% power. Then when I want to charge it, I just plug a regular Android charger into the back to this micro USD port, and we are all good to go. So happy writing to myself.